What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBoot.net and I'm here in the lab to give you guys an HD video review of the new Reloop Terminal Mix 8 Serato DJ Professional Digital DJ Controller. So what we have here is the latest and greatest controller from the Reloop brand. Reloop has been making some really high quality gear as of late. They have a new set of turntables. They also have crazy nice mixers. And they also have really cool digital DJ controllers, some of them that work with the iPad. Some of them we reviewed here previously, which include the Terminal Mix 2 and the Terminal Mix 4. And this is the biggest and the most powerful controller that Reloop has released to date. And it's called the Terminal Mix 8. So what makes this the most powerful and the best controller that you can get from Reloop DJ Division is the fact that you still have your really familiar and ultra tight high performance jog wheels and you also have your full Serato DJ full software edition bundled directly in the box with the controller. All the other controllers come with an LE or a light version of a software but no this one comes with the full out Serato DJ experience so you get all your cue points, all your effects and all your cool neat features right off the bat. You also have slip function here. You also have these cool new pads. The Terminal Mix 4 had hard plastic style buttons. They did not have these really nice velocity sensitive and RGB backlit pads. And this controller is bigger in every dimension. It's bigger width wise, height wise, and in depth. So overall you have a bigger machine, better layout for all of your controls, and then again you have these pads with the full edition of Serato DJ included. So we're going to take a real deep dive and let you guys see everything that this controller can do. So let's start off by checking out the inputs and outputs. Okay, so first up we'll take a look at the rear panel which houses all of your connections. And first up to the left we have your DC in. It is a power brick power supply and it must be connected in order for the Terminal Mix 8 to work. Next up you have a on off toggle switch here. Then you have your USB connection, you have a master balance connection which is quarter inch TRS, next to that is a master unbalanced RCA and a unbalanced booth RCA. They both have separate volume control knobs on the face of the unit which is a big plus. Next up you have the LED dimmer so you can change the LED lights how dim or bright they are right here by changing the knob. Then you have your LED chain. This way you can switch between your different channels or your master with your line level LEDs. So you can see at a glance where each one of your channels or your master is in the mix. Next up you have an aux level RCA input. This is line or phono level using the switch here. And it also has a ground post for those who are using vinyl style decks. Alright, so on the front you have a microphone input all the way to the left, which is quarter inch or TRS. Then you have a recessed level control knob, and you also have a one band EQ tone control knob. And there's also a aux level control knob as well. And these volume controls all pop in and out, as you can see, so that they're more recessed when you're not using them. Next up you have the crossfader section. Here you can adjust your crossfader curve using the knob on the front and then you can set your crossfader to either side of the crossfader. As you can see there's an A and B on the crossfader and you can set either one of these channels to either side or in the middle to the through selection. That way your crossfader has no bearing whatsoever. Next up is the Q section. You have your headphones um, quarter inch and eighth inch are present here and they also have a high low one band EQ tone control knob as well. Okay everyone so here it is the Reloop Terminal Mix 8 Serato DJ controller. Now again this is the flagship premier top of the line top shelf digital DJ controller from Reloop. They just recently announced this at NAMM 2014 and during that announcement was actually when I received this device directly from Reloop. Shout out to everyone at Reloop over there in Germany for getting me this device ASAP. Um, this review will cover mostly all of the features and functions within Serato DJ. Uh, this is a fully MIDI mappable controller so you can map it to Traktor, Virtual DJ or any other type of software you see fit. 
but it comes right in the box bundled with the full edition Serato DJ software. That means you're getting all of your effects unlocked, you're getting all of your cue points unlocked, your SP6 sample slots, and you just get all that extra functionality that you get with Serato DJs such as slip mode you also get your slicer and your auto loop roll and a lot of cool functions that are found right here on board the Terminal Mix 8 so the first impressions is really really good for the Terminal Mix 8 it's built very very similarly to the Terminal Mix 4 at first glance you would think it's maybe be, maybe the same exact controller with just a few changes but there's a lot more going on here under the hood it is very very similar but it's actually wider it's actually taller and it's actually thicker than its predecessor the TM4 so the Terminal Mix 4 did not include these cool velocity sensitive RGB backlit pads they had these harder style plastic buttons to it and these pads are much better feeling to the touch they're much better to drum with and they're better for your cues, sample, slicer. It just feels overall better and especially better when using it with Serato DJ. You still have your really nice feeling uh, oversized knobs for your EQs and your gain. And this time they've made the filters rubberized and a little bit fatter so you can have your exact and nice control. And they also made the master volume control rubberized and it's a little bit thicker as well. A few more changes between this and the Terminal Mix 4. The layout of the load buttons and the Q buttons are reversed. This makes more logical sense for the DJ to have the Q buttons, what you're hearing in your headphones, right above the line faders and when you're selecting a track it's easier to go right next to the encoder in order to select where you want your track to load, whatever deck you need. So first impressions are very good. You have this mostly metal build quality. You have metal on the bottom, metal on the top. A little bit of plastic around the sides, but again, reinforced with metal all the way throughout. And it really, really feels like it's going to last through the abuse and the use of a DJ. Next up, we'll talk about the setup. Setup was really easy. As with most Serato DJ controllers, it's a plug and play operation. You don't get any of the software in the box. You have to go to the Reloop website in order to download the firmware, the latest firmware or the drivers. Once you download that, install it, then you can head on over to the Serato DJ website. There will be a voucher included in the box that will give you the activation code to activate the full Serato DJ for the Terminal Mix 8. And you enter in that code and you're ready to roll. You plug it into your computer via the supplied USB. You plug in your speakers to one of your outputs. You must plug in your power brick. You do have a power supply here and it must be connected at all times in order to work. And then you plug in some headphones in the front and you're ready to go. So the setup was very straightforward, very simple, very easy. It's basically plug and play once you go online and you download everything that you need. Okay, so first up, we'll just run down the entire controller. We'll start at the bottom with the mixing console. You have your crossfader all the way at the bottom, and this is a very nice crossfader. It actually feels like it has less dead space than the crossfader on the Terminal Mix 4, which was one of my minor gripes with it. This is, it has a very, very short cut in distance, and it felt very good doing all my cutting and scratching with it, as good as you're going to get on a DJ controller. It doesn't feel like a cheap plasticky fader, fader either. It feels like it's a metal fader inside. I haven't took it apart to verify, but it just really feels really confident, really sturdy, and it has a nice confident click all the way at the ends as well. You have your crossfader curve control on the front, and again, you can assign your channels to either side of the crossfader or through to be independent of the crossfader. Your line faders have a bit more resistance to them. The Terminal Mix 4's line faders didn't have this much resistance to them. They felt more like the crossfader, but this is an upgrade in my opinion. You want a little bit of resistance to your channel faders. That way you can get a nice smooth mix with them. You're not going to be doing too much uh, controller type scratching with your line faders as is apparent on most controllers, but you do have a nice throw, nice smooth feel to them this time and definitely a nice improvement there. 
in the middle you have your line level meters and you're allowed to use these meters for your master or there's a switch on the back to where you can switch it to see what your channels on the other side of the fader on each side of the fader are doing so you can get a better metering control here than on the terminal mix 4 next up you have your Q buttons that way you can queue up whatever you want to listen to in your headphones that you do not want your audience to listen to and then you have your navigation controls right here nice and neat in the middle you have a nice oversized encoder in the middle which is push button it's metal and you can go through all of your tracks here you can go up and down all of your folders you can navigate you can go backwards uh, you can go back in you can select tracks you can load them up to either of your decks like load three select another track here load four so now you have all four of your decks again Serato DJ comes unlocked fully and that means you have all four decks of control right here at your fingertips you're allowed to go back forwards and through your different files in order to browse through crates and your different playlists etc etc next up you have different views so that way you can switch the view of tractor and when you press it you're gonna get a bunch of different views here all around however you like to view it is how you'll see it next up you have your area button and the area will change the currently selected format and change it between files browse prepare and history when you press the shift button in area you now are allowed to see things like effects then you can see things like your sp6 sampler and again you can go to your files to prepare next up you have a sampler volume control knob and you're allowed to control the sp6 volume with this knob next you have your filters for each of your channels your low pass to the left high pass to the right they're nice and oversized and they have a center click so you know when they're completely off next up each channel has low mid and high complete kill EQs along with gain control at the top in the middle you have your headphone controls which is your headphone volume and your headphone Q mix fader knob so that way you can hear between Q what you have selected in your headphones and master between what the master output is playing next up you have your separate volume control knobs for both your booth output so you can monitor and your master output as well the master output knob is coated with a rubberized coating so it's easy and squishy to the touch feels really good to make your adjustments there okay next up we'll take a quick look at the decks themselves and another difference between the terminal mix 4 and the terminal mix 8 is the transport controls on the bottom the play pause the cue the stutter and the sync instead of being circular as they were on the terminal mix 4 here they are more rectangular more traditional more familiar to DJs everywhere you have your deck buttons all the way in the corner so that way you can select between deck 1 or 3 when it's lit up or you're in deck 2 or 4 when that one's lit up on this side next up you have your shift keys on the outside both sides have shift keys and nice placement that way you can shift and go to a different layered function for all of your controls next up you have these beautiful jog wheels I've said it before on the terminal mix 2 and the terminal mix 4 the terminal mix 8 has the very same jog wheels these are probably some of the best feeling jog wheels that I've ever used on a DJ controller they don't have any type of tension adjust but they just already feel right already feel weighted correctly they're always one-to-one -one within Serato DJ and even the DJ intro software as was the case with the 2 and the 4 more volume on there really nice to the touch they have a good spin back good weight and they just the rub texture even feels kind of close to a record so you have a really really good jog wheel here I'm happy they didn't change the design because it didn't really need fixing from the start you have slip mode when you press shift and the jog button and when you press the jog button it switches the jog mode of the jog wheel to either real time cut or to nudge and to beat match for pitch bending next up you have your long throw 
pitch slider. It's really long, really good for your accurate beat matching. You have a, not a center click, but you have a center LED light to let you know when you're at absolute zero. At the top, you have deck effects assigned, so you can assign your effects modules to your different deck that you have acted here. We'll have more on that in a second. But you also have range. If you press shift and the deck one button, you can change the range of the slider. You can change it between plus or minus 8%, 16, and 50. And then you also have your key button here, so you can keep in key even when you're changing up your speed of the song. Next up is your FX controls at the top. You have your three FX buttons and then you have a beat knob as well so you can change the beat counter of the effect. All you have to do for that is press shift and then you can press the actual loop and that will actually change the different beat counters. Automatically it's set up to be a loop roll function so when you're playing your track you can just press it in order to start your loop or you can change the set length of the loop by twisting the knob. So we'll give you a quick example of that. Next up, you have the effects up here as well. And again, you have up to six effects that you can enact at one time because you have two effects banks and you have your new isotope effects in Serato DJ. They're really nice. And you can also purchase additional FX packs at your own discretion. They'll be bringing them out through Serato DJ and through their website. Next up, we have your performance pad mode. Now, this is one of the big differences, maybe one of the big key features of the Terminal Mix 8. And one of the key reasons to get a Terminal Mix 8 over a Terminal Mix 4 would be the inclusion of the full Serato DJ, of course and also the inclusion of these 16 velocity sensitive pads. Now these pads are RGB backlit, which means they have multiple colors. So depending on what mode you're in, you'll have a different color. So automatically, you'll know exactly what mode you're currently in. You have your slice function. This is your slicer. For those who are familiar, it'll break down your song into eight equal parts, your bars. And then you'll be able to remix the song live um, by changing which bar is playing next in the song. I'll do a quick example of that. Next mode is your sample mode. When you press sample, you can come over here to your SP6 sampler on screen. And now you have access to your samples. You have one, two, three, four, five, six in your SP6 sampler. And then you're allowed to go to your next bank. So you can actually access all of your samples from right here. Right now we have one loaded. And this is the volume control knob for it. And you can play your samples right there on board. Next up, you have your cue, which is basically your hot cue mode. So you can just. Next up is your loop section. You can do auto loops here. Sir, 
Next up, we touched on the slip mode, but we'll go into it a little bit more here. Basically, the slip mode allows you to manipulate a song while it's playing, and as soon as you finish with your manipulation, your loop or your hot cue or scratching or whatever you were doing to manipulate the song, the playhead would end up being where it would have been had you not done anything to the track at all. So, quick example. Okay, so in conclusion, the Reloop Terminal Mix 8 is a really, really nice controller. It works perfectly with the Serato DJ Edition, and it's one of the only controllers that have a nice professional feel and a nice level of detail and control to Serato DJ that comes bundled with Serato DJ, the full edition in the box, and it also won't break the bank in the process. So what we're getting here is this phenomenal build quality that carried over from the Terminal Mix 4. It's a mostly metal construction, so you know it's going to really last throughout the ages and through the rigors and abuse and the use that the DJ might put it through. You also have, again, the full bundled Serato DJ, which means you get all of your cue points, effects, and everything unlocked directly out of the box so you don't have to go and spend extra money in order to get some type of upgrade. You also have these cool intuitive velocity sensitive RGB pads for each deck and this gives you things like the slicer, the sample, the cues and the loops and everything works and feels really nice to the touch. They're really good for drumming and they work exactly as you would want them to on a drum machine or on any other DJ controller so I have no gripes and no issues with these here. Also, you have your emergency throughput on the back, RCA, so in case your computer does go out on you, you do always have your power connected to this device, so that way if your computer or software does go out on you, you can always use your auxiliary port for things like MP3 players, CDJs, or so on and so forth. They also have a really cool oversized feel to all of the knobs that carried over from the Terminal Mix 4 and Terminal Mix 2. They're nice and evenly spaced. And you also have these nice rubberized coating to the filter knobs and the main volume control as well. You also have this really nice control service for great vinyl emulation. These are some of the best jaw wheels that I've ever used on a DJ controller. So they brought them over directly from the Terminal Mix 2 and Terminal Mix 4 and they work perfectly with Serato. There's basically no perceived latency whatsoever and you can really pull off your scratches with the jaw wheel and fader combination here. On the downside, however, you don't have any additional channelized inputs whereas you can control the additional channels that you may use on the back with one of the channel controls with your gains, your EQs, and your volume control and your fader. So when you do use your aux input, it will be independent of all of those things and you just get your volume control here on the front. But unfortunately, you won't be able to mix with that. So you don't have a standalone mixing function as you do on other flagship four channel DJ controllers. Other than that, you have a really solid controller here. You have all of the features that you're gonna need right here in the box. It's plug and play operation. We're gonna go ahead and recommend this to any DJ who wants to use Serato DJ as their software of choice, even though it is MIDI mappable and can work with any other software of your choice. It just works really, really brilliantly with the Serato DJ software. So that's what we're gonna grade it with. That's what we're gonna use it with. And we would advise the same with you guys. If you're gonna to wanna to get this controller for, for Serato DJ, this is a great, great option for you. And it also is versatile because you can use the MIDI function and you could program it to something like Tractor or Virtual DJ. So highly recommended, especially for those who like the Reloop brand, like the Reloop feel and quality of gear, this is probably the controller for you. So for more on the full written review, you can head on over to www.djboot.net slash DJS and hit that like button, subscribe button, and thanks for watching.